Good morning, class. Today we're gonna to be teaching you a lesson on how to do a closed basket weave ankle taping. Okay, so the purpose of this ankle taping is to limit the range of motion after an inversion sprain. So what we're trying to do here is, is a preventative measure to prevent any further damage to the damaged ligaments. Okay, so if you take a look at this diagram here, you'll notice that the top is our inversion sprain. Inversion sprains make up 70 to 85% of the typical ankle sprain. What's happening here is the foot becomes inverted and thus that stretches or even possibly tears the most outer lateral ligaments of the ankle. So the primary ligament that is affected here is the anterior talofibular ligament, um, and that is what is going to be affected. So right here, this is where your anterior talofibular ligament is, and in providing this taping, we're just trying to strengthen this area and prevent any further damage from occurring. So what I need to do here as the injured person is make sure that I'm sitting comfortably in a chair with my foot elevated. Um, I also want to make sure that in order for this taping to be successful that my foot is dorsiflexed, meaning that my toes are pointed as high as possible. Alright, so we are going to begin this tape job. First we're going to start by getting the patient to dorsiflex their foot. That's been leaning their toes as high to the sky as possible, and their foot is going to stay like that through the entire duration of the tape job. From there, we're going to be applying what's called pre-wrap. This is basically just to provide a sufficient layer between the skin and the tape to prevent any sort of irritation that may occur. So you're just going to go about halfway up the calf at the start of the gastrocnemius there. Just give sufficient coverage all over any areas that will be in contact with the tape. And this is just for, like I said, to prevent irritation and for the comfort of the patient. Okay, so now that we have our pre-wrap all assembled here, and the foot is still dorsiflexed, we're going to be applying our proximal and our distal anchors. So for proximal, we want about two, just to kind of anchor that tape job, kind of contacting a little bit of the skin and the pro-wrap there. So you have two or three anchor strips proximally there. And we will do the same thing distally, just to get the contact of the tape. And we really want to focus on the contour of the arch there and not pulling the tape too tight. So again, we're gonna apply two to three anchors here. All right, so we're gonna be beginning by applying our stirrups. So they're going from the medial side all the way under the foot and pulling with a little bit of tension laterally. Uh, it's gonna end right where our anchor started, making sure to press down the tape so that it is staying. We're gonna apply about three to four of these overlapping stirrups, assuring to press down each time. And again, we're applying this with a little bit of tension as we come around, basically simulating injured ligament there. Okay, so now that we have our stirrups in place, we're going to be alternating a stirrup and horseshoe lock. So typically for every stirrup, I like to go with three horseshoes. So those horseshoes are just coming from the front, all the way around the back of the ankle. Again, we're going three to every one. There's our three horseshoes. Then we'll apply another stirrup, again, medially to laterally, just changing your angle slightly. And then three more horseshoes. I'm trying to eliminate any sort of ridges in the tape whatsoever. Okay, so we are going to start with our heel locks. So to start your heel lock, you're starting at the point of injury. So right around this area here. And you're pulling the tape behind, across that lateral malleolus, underneath, providing a lot of tension, and then loosely back up. And you're going to do the same thing medially as we just did laterally. So start on this end here, across the lateral malleolus, underneath, and back up. 
I like to repeat this twice over. So we're just gonna do the same thing we just did. Cross underneath, round and back up. And again on the other side. Cross underneath, round and back up. Okay, so now we're just going to be applying our figure eights. So you're going to be starting going straight down around and up, so kind of the reverse of what we just did with our heel locks. So you're going straight down under the arch, round and back up. And again, we're gonna repeat this twice over. So straight down, around and back up. Again, down, around. Back up. Okay, so we have the core of our tape job done. For now, all we're doing is closing it off. So you're going to start distally, just give those little closures, kind of get tear down any loose edges that there may be, make it look nice and pretty and wrinkle free. And just closing it up. And there we go. Okay, so lastly, all we're doing is we're checking for cap refill to make sure there still is blood flow within the foot. How you're gonna do that is you're gonna pinch your big toe and look for the color to come back, just like we have there. All right, Laura, so I'm just gonna check for your range of motion there. It's limiting the range a little bit. Make sure you still have enough flexion to get off the ground. And then we're just gonna follow this up with doing some sport specific movement. All right, Laura, so we're gonna do some sport specific movement. So can you just walk towards me for a second? And then go back, back pedal. Okay, and let's see how you can jump. How's that feel on the jumps there? Feels really good. Yeah. Perfect. Can you go laterally? So do a little bit of a lateral stride. Everything's feeling good? Feels awesome. Perfect. Thanks, You're man. good to go.